I don't, why am I playing this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm playing this. Um, it doesn't really matter what we pick, but um, I think I'm going to be a wizard because for once I should be a spellcaster, right? You know, because I'm I was a melee uh, p character for the last two games, so let's be magical this time. Yeah, that's good. What do we call her? What will we name our wizard? We will call her um, Trixius. Trixius. That's just that's a dumb name. I'm gonna keep it though. Tr Trixius. Yeah. Okay. Trixius. All right. There we go. Since my youth, I have been told that I was special. A prodigy of vast potential. I came to the Ishari Sanctum, seeking what knowledge I could glean from the Masters. But I found them fearful of the truth. I would learn nothing from them. they contained showed me all that might come to pass and all that I might become then a star fell from the heavens the sign that my moment had come I will go west to Tristram to stop the darkness that the star portends and fulfill the destiny that beckons me. Wow. This place reeks of the dead. The fallen star must be near. What? What? what wow. Got some Trixie's backstory? No way. Oh, Diablo 3. <laughs> so good. Oh, I shoot spells. That's kind of cool. Wait, I got a magic missile. Shoot. I want. Yeah, so Diablo 3, I don't like you very much. A lot of people don't like it very much. Um, nothing against you if you do like it. Of course, if if you like the game, all power to you. It's amazing. I just felt I should at least play all three and record it. So, yeah, we're we're back at we're back in Tristram. You know the the. The, the town that, you know, where it all started, uh, you know, why would anyone live here again after what happened? He sent me in search of the star that fell on this land. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. <laughs> we should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. Wow! <laughs> until we drive them back. Oh no. They keep coming! Yeah. I need to up my difficulty, I think, because... Cause it's like super easy right now. I just shoot magic at him. You know? It's pretty cool. I become more powerful. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. Oh, Guys, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! The slaughtered calf in. So I think this game takes place like 20 years after the second one. You know, after the World Stone was destroyed, and like now the the barrier between heaven and hell is broken. And now they can just freely get to Sanctuary. Oh, a skill slot. Oh, yeah, I forgot. And uh, there's no more skill trees. Um, it's just so basic compared to what it was before. Ray of Frost. Okay. Oh. I'm a fire on my laser! That's a dead meme. I'm sorry. And you got people here. I came here to study the fall of old Tristram. This is closer to the town's history than I want to be. Why would you do that? Why would you study that? It's here. has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us now? It is the end of the world. Can't you see that? All right. I promised Marco I'd protect him, and now he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. Like the dialogue is just dumb. Oh, what's this? Wait, is this my stash? Oh, this is, must have been my last playthrough that I played once. That was I was playing as a barbarian. I named her Big Chunkette. She is uh, I, in my head canon. She's the daughter of Big Chonker. There you go. Some uh, some lore. Um, but anyways, um, Trixius is our character now. 
She's a wizard. She's going to be so powerful, she's going to destroy the world. Are you Leah? Rumford said you survived the fallen star. I did. But it blasted my uncle, Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but... Watch out! The wounded are turning! Uh, oh no. <laughs> this is killing business. This is... Was that a pun? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. The dead will overwhelm us all, unless <laughs> something is done. I will make certain that doesn't happen. Your town is safe. Thank you. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. Why are we even back here? Tristram was literally like one of the worst places. Well. We've been under siege for six days now. Uncle Deckard is still missing. Captain Rumford and the others are losing hope. I tell them not to lose faith. But if help doesn't arrive soon. Yeah, there's like lore um, stuff now. There's skills, got inventory. There's like, yeah, there's like l lore journals, I guess. It, it's, 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 I mean, it's kind of cool, but I feel like we shouldn't explain everything we see in, the, in, in Diablo, you, you know? I think it'll help our mayor fix his wagon. My brother died defending this town while that bloated coward tried to run away. You don't sound very believable, I'm going to be honest. Can you move this thing? I need to get by. How dare you speak to me like that? I am the mayor of this town. Why are you trying to leave? I'm a wizard that can you blast mad? you into the freaking town is doomed. Seven Anyone seas. with a grain of sense should be trying to get out. Will you help me or not? I am not in the habit of helping cowards. Also, the, there's no isometric map anymore. I, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Uh, there's no potion items anymore. Like, there's pretty much no items, but like your gear that you get, and that's it. Um, they can get gems still, but I mean it doesn't really matter. Like you do so much damage. It was a paragon at least, I guess. But like, eh. It's just, it's so I don't know. I Diablo 2 did the skill stuff so perfectly. The only thing I didn't like about Diablo 2 is how harsh it was on skill distribution, and that's it. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. What can I do to help you fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Wow. Thanks for the warning, but I won't be dying today. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Oh no. What on earth will I do? You guys are in the way. You're in the way. That's one of the wretched mothers. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Hmm. Pants! Finally. That, that, that's not really pants. She's like, dude, she's still like, oh my god, what were they doing with the design in this game? Oh my god, I do not like Blizzard. <laughs> Why is she? New lore. I, Deckard Kane, have spent many years traveling uh, and writing about the strange creatures in our world. But the sight of the wretched mothers still haunts me. They are the remnants of Queen Asilla's slaughtered handmaidens who were twisted by foul magic. Now they feast upon cadavers and regurgitate them as newly formed, risen dead. Wait, I don't, I don't like it because by explaining what you see in this game, it kind of takes away from the mystery of, of the creatures and, and the demons and it makes you feel, oh, now I understand them all, you know? Like... I feel like, like, lore books and stuff are always cool, but I feel like you shouldn't explain everything. I feel like it should be up to the interpretation of the player. And I, I will admit, uh, the game is kind of, it's pretty, but it's also a bit too colorful. Which is shocking to say, because it's, it's pretty, like, mute right now, but... Like... Compared to, like... It looks like World of Warcraft just top down, you know? It's just World of Warcraft top down. They use the same engine. I mean, most of Blizzard's games use the same engine after... Oh, actually, it's a, it's the Warcraft 3 engine, I think. Like, a really modified version of Warcraft 3's engine. Starcraft 2 uses it, but it used it better than Diablo 3, in my opinion. Diablo 3 uses it. It looks like crap. Um, <laughs> like... 
at least like tone wise and stuff and in and, and like how it should look it doesn't look very realistic it's very cartoony compared to uh, um, Diablo 1 and 2 which were very real and grounded in the design even with their pixely graphics okay what am I doing Ooh. yeah you got like gauntlets now but everything's like the same size so like there's not really inventory management anymore. And the music is okay. Um, it's a bit too cinematic, I guess. I mean, Act 1 is alright, I think. It's most because I think Matt Ullman came back for like two songs, and that's it. Bruh. Yeah. Oh, it's a wretched mother. What will I do? At least for now. Shock pulse. There we go. Now she's a little bit more decent. I don't know why she. I don't. Even with no gear, why would you just run around looking like that? <laughs> Lightning. That's pretty cool. I guess. Ooh. Adventuring. Tunic. The dank cellar. Well, what's in here? Where's all the treasure? The fiends didn't take it, did they? Sarkov. That was easy. Like Act One feels a little bit more. Like I think Act One feels the most Diablo out of all the acts in this game. There's five acts again. Diablo himself once walked this place. He did. He actually did. But like, I still don't understand why why they decided to go back and live here. This is probably one of the most cursed places you could go back to. No, I and mean, you get waypoints now, but they're like, you know. I guess they work the same way. Actually, yeah, it's fine. And it just kind of tells you, like, <laughs> the, the the stats of the armor, so you don't really have to look for yourself. You kind of just look at which number is bigger, and then you put it on. <laughs> a club. She's more of a spellcaster, though. I guess she could hit with a club, but I feel like a wand would be better for her, because she's a magic user. Expediamus. Where am I going again? Oh, I guess use the old ruins waypoint. Okay. Whoopsie, I forgot. I gotta look at the. I I don't know how I'm gonna divide up the series too because. Um... No, well, whoops. Wait, so old Tristram's just like up the road, pretty much. <laughs> That's old Tristram. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. I wanna take a look at this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it really is old Tristram, actually. It, there's the well. I mean, it's, it's way bigger than it should be, but there's the well. Okay. I guess they kind of got it. Accurate. Why am I coming back here, though? It's more just like... It feels just like... Oh, look at this. Remember this place? Remember this place, guys? You know, it's, it's so... It's, it's so... Spooky. Remember, this is where it all started. It's chaos everywhere. And word in town is that Lakdanin killed the king. Ooh. Only this is true. Perhaps our days and nights of living in terror are behind us now. Lakdanin. That is actually a character that I wish I came across in Diablo 1. Because you can come across in Diablo 1, but I didn't. I didn't get the quest for him. But he's like a blood knight that you'd find down in hell. And he gives you a quest for like an elixir or something. Uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of quests I wish I got in Diablo One. I wanted to show them all off, but I couldn't. All right, I'm gonna attack the Captain Rumpert. Thank you for your help, but could you talk some sense into Leah? She won't give up on the idea of rescuing her uncle. Nor should she. I will help her find him. If my old masters could see me now. Wow. 
Frost Nova. Ooh. Oh yeah, you get you get, you get spells. Oh yeah, yeah, it's the Frost Nova. Come, let us search for your uncle. We'll need to open the cathedral first. The guards locked it up before they were ambushed. Rumford told me they fought their way back to Adria's hut. The key must still be there. <coughs> I'm dying now. Old ruins. Here we go. And then we go open up. We open up this gate. And we just run. Here, we got. Let me open the gate. What the frick? I could just blast it over with my magic, dude. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was oh. raised by What about your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. Your father. Wait a minute. Your father. Your father was Yeeter. <laughs> It was Yeeter! What was Yeeter doing? Yeeter was getting busy, dude. I don't know what, what, what his mother was. Her mother's Adria, the witch? From Diablo 1? Oh, oh. Okay, I do. Okay, I do, I do gotta admit, it does look pretty good. Like, it's an overgrown version of the original town. Adria's hut's over here. It's like we're revisiting, uh. Old areas, you know. Look, a hidden cellar. Follow me. <laughs> I think there was more to your mother than you know. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. She was a witch. <laughs> I sense a soul in search of answers. <laughs> Why is there still a burning cauldron? Who was this? Who was this guy? I wasn't paying attention, guys. Oh, wrong button. That minor is. I can't tell. Here's the key and my mother's journal. What I've seen of it is disturbing. I want to know more about her, but that can wait. We need to save Uncle Deckard first. I will search the cathedral. You stay here and learn what you can. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. That is not her voice. Heart. That is not I her voice. I told him as best I could. Regardless, wherever he's headed, hell will surely follow in his wake. The shadows close in on Tristram once again. But like Aiden, I'll be gone before they fall. Damn it. They call him Aiden. Damn it. The name I picked for, for my warrior in Diablo 1 isn't canon now. No. No, I thought... I'm just gonna say it's her name for him. Yeah, so the warrior's canon name in Diablo 1 is Aiden. I named him Yeeter. When I, when I was, when I was, this is a joke, but I kinda stuck with it. Cause, you know, might as well. <laughs> He's still Yeeter to me. <laughs> He'll always be Yeeter to me. But yeah, I guess Adria and Yeeter uh, got busy right after he got out of the cathedral and then, uh, you know. Uh, Pop goes Leah. Hey, that's just not that's not what Adria sounds like though. She sounds like this. She's like an old woman. With a really nice voice. It's a mass grave. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Lightning. I guess Diablo 3 is not a bad game, it's just, it's just, I don't know, for a Diablo game, I don't, I don't think it's very good. I think it's very lackluster compared to its predecessors. So especially with its story, like, I don't know, I, there's a lot of, I, I mean. So this is Tristram Cathedral. The Fallen Star is somewhere inside. Since when was it, since when was it on a hill? Are the crypts still there? I don't like the crypts. I don't want to go to the crypts, bro. <laughs> no, Hellfire is not canon. What's back here, though? But yeah, as I was saying, um, I don't know. It's just, and this, I guess the story of Diablo is nothing crazy, but I really, I kind of like the story of Diablo, and I feel like it should have been respected way more in this game, but it wasn't. Oh. 
Guys, it's the Fallen Star. Cathedral level one. Oh my god. We went in here in level one. Why is it so big? No, like actually though, why is it so huge? This must be where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. Like this this place is huge. It's huge. It's not it's not like a giant like palace underground, dude. The cathedral was a bunch of labyrinths, a bunch of tight, uncomfortable corridors. That just went deeper and deeper. To the point where it reached hell. Or the the pocket hell that Diablo created when he was being resurrected. Hit new lore! Some foul new disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Ugh. Since returning to Tristram, I have seen Why did you go back to surge. Tristram? The evil forces that linger here give them strength, and I fear that the worst is yet to come. Arcane Orb. Oh, it's like a black hole. That's kind of cool. God, it's so broken. Like, the cathedral was not this big. At least not like, it didn't look like this. It wasn't a hollowed cave, dude. It was a tight labyrinth. Like, why'd they mess it up? It's not like a giant palace. Whoa, corpse. Power. What do you mean you have arcane power, bro? <laughs> oh, that is something I do like about um, Diablo 3, actually. Um, I like how each class actually has their own type of, like, energy. It makes sense, you know? Different types of magic and stuff. Makes it more interesting. And it looks cool, I guess. I actually like that. Yeah, but see, that was pretty freaking easy. This is Diablo 2. I probably would have died just by being, um. reckless. I don't even know Wand anymore, I guess. I don't know. I don't like how they, they, they handled it, though. They should have just left Diablo 1 story just alone, and they should have just not touched it. It's a part of the history of the games. It should have just been left. You know? But, you know, instead they just had to go poke it. It kind of ruins it. Yo, Leoric's Passage. Oh no. Oh, minions, stay back! Back! May this wet cold. Soon all will suffer as I have suffered. Gods, bring me his bones. Bruh, they're bullying Deckard. Also, I love how because I have a big monitor, it doesn't it doesn't treat it very well. Okay, so Juan doesn't make any difference from. What the hell are you doing here, bro? What's up, big skeleton? Why'd they bring back King Leoric, the skeleton king? Why'd they do that? Why? Why'd they do that? He should have just been left to rest. He literally... I hate how they brought him back. His, his little quest in Diablo 1 is so perfect. Like... Thank you. But why did you risk yourself for me? Because I'm a wizard. You live. Fortune smiles on you, old man. I'm here to bring you back to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful to hear <laughs> that Leah is well. I fear the going? worst. 
I learned what? this secret passage what through the frick? old maps I found. What the frick? <laughs> what the frick? It's so stupid. It's so dumb. Come on. All right, I guess I'm guess I'm going this way. We must discuss the fallen star. He looks so stupid. Divine star. I have fulfilled my promise to Leah and rescued her uncle, Deckard Kane. Now, all that stands between me and the fallen star is the skeleton king who has returned to darken Tristram once again. It's freaking stupid. They shouldn't have brought him back. He's freaking dead. He had his plot line in the first game. It was an optional quest that I unfortunately didn't get, but I wish I did. You literally end the Skeleton King's reign. And it's just, it's somber, and it's, it's, it's kind of sad. Because he's like, a mad, he, he went through so much freaking pain and suffering. When Diablo tried to possess him. And he lost his son, his son gets kidnapped. Like, and he just wanted his son back. Like, it's so freaking depressing. It, it, and then when you when you put him to rest, it's just it feels right. They should have been left at that, but no, they decided let's bring him back. It's so stupid. Let him rest. Uncle, you're alive. Thanks to you and your friend here. <laughs> Our time is running short. What can you tell me about the fallen star? Not much, I'm afraid, though the prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Well. Gathering leather pants of the bear. Finally some pants! Kinda. I think we will uh, leave it here for now. On our new uh, Al Diabolo series. Al Diabolos 3, or not Al Diabolos 3 or something. I don't know what I'm going to call it. But, yeah. Um, yeah, if you liked what you saw, um, thanks for watching. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful day.